many people said it was impossible to consistently recreate me. But things only seem impossible until someone does it. I can go anywhere now. Pretty cool, huh? The possibilities are limitless. It's just up to your imagination. Let's get into how to actually create consistent characters in VO3. They said you can do it, but you can. I'm going to show you two different ways, one in the quick VO3 and one in the high quality VO3. And I'll show you which one I think works better. So here we are in Whisk. You're going to put in a description of a character that you want to create and you want to put into your videos. So it's going to generate an image drag that image up to the subject box. You're going to drop it in there. It's going to analyze the image and this is going to give you an even more detailed description that you're then going to put into Gemini or you can probably use ChatGPT as well. So there's your description of your character in Whisk. Then you're going to click download. You're going to download that image, copy that, go into Gemini and you're going to write, here's a prompt that I wrote in Whisk. You're going to copy the original prompt you wrote in Whisk. Then you're going to write, here's the image description that I received from Whisk. Then you're going to copy that description and you're going to paste it into Gemini. You're going to go upload image. You're going to upload that image you just downloaded. And I'm going to write, I would like a detailed VO3 description of just the man that I can use in a template for building prompts where I will try to place him in a consistent looking way. I'm going to copy the different sections, put it in the description so you can copy and paste those. It gave me a detailed prompt of what I want to put into VO3 for this character. So after I get the prompt that I want, I said, give him a name and how would you write a voice prompt for him in VO3? So it gave him a name, Kenji Tanaka. Then it gave me a description of him as well as a voice prompt, but I didn't think the voice prompt was specific enough. So I said, can you give me a more detailed prompt of his voice? So it gave me this long, really extravagant version of his voice. I still didn't feel like it was quite right. So I rewrote, I asked it again. I want a voice to be medium tone with a quick cadence with a warmth. Can you write a prompt for his voice so I can consistently try to recreate it in VO3? So after describing the voice that I want, it gave me what I feel like would be a good prompt, good parameters, good specific descriptions for his voice to consistently keep it the same throughout the videos. This is really important that you want very detailed things. Now I want to get my core prompt. So I asked it for a core prompt for Kenji Tanaka, core prompt for Kenji's voice, and a core prompt for a cinematic style shot on 35 millimeter. So once I have my core prompts, I'm going to ask it to write a prompt in a selfie vlog style, standing on top of a building with a beautiful view of him saying, it seemed impossible to put me in multiple places. Then that's going to give me the exact prompt that I'm going to then paste into VO3. So you go into th VO3, paste it. I'm going to be using the VO3 fast version. This is what you get. It seemed impossible to put me in multiple places consistently, but uh, is it? So then I go back into Gemini and ask it to write a selfie style vlog prompt for him standing on the Golden Gate Bridge and what he's saying. Then I copy that and I'm going to paste that into VO3. Many things seem impossible until they're not. So now I'm going to show you the way to make it in the quality version. I think this is actually even a little bit better than to ask Gemini every single time to write a new prompt. So basically you're going to copy the original description that it gave you for your character. Then you're, you're going to paste that into VO3. Then you're going to put in his voice. You're going to put the description of his voice and you're going to put all of the different, very specific descriptors of his voice into the prompt for VO3. So I'm going to write in basically where he is. I'm just going to place him somewhere. He is sitting at a park bench. I'm going to go back and I'm going to take that core prompt of the cinematic style. I'm going to copy the cinematic style into the prompt. And basically I'm giving it where he is, all of his, the original descriptions, all of the description of his voice. And then I'm going to tell it what he says, what the dialogue is, switch it to VO3 quality. Let's see what we get. Many people said it was impossible to consistently recreate me. Uh, so I feel like when I use the original description and not asked it to write a new prompt with just the core prompts, it actually gave me a character that looked much more like the original guy that Wisk created. So then I'm going to change where he is. He's writing in the subway in New York, and I'm also going to change his dialogue. But I'm going to just copy and paste that entire uh, prompt description that I previously used to keep it consistent. But things only seem impossible until someone does it. I can go anywhere now. Pretty cool, huh?